Now, what are attribute selectors? First of all, probably all aware of the common CS selectors, such as tag selectors, class name selectors, and ID selectors. But not everybody knows that you can actually select based off the attributes that are on the elements. For example, if you want to put an outline around every element that has an href, you can do it this way. You can also select based off the value that those attributes have. So not only are we looking for the attribute, but in this case, we're looking for the exact match of a value. We can see here that if it has exactly HTTPS colon slash google.com, then it will put an outline around it. But if that has anything else, even if it's very similar, it won't match. Now we can also do that if it just has that substring anywhere inside of that value. It, we can do that using a star equals. So in this case, we can get both of those items to match because they both have Google inside of them. We have one extreme here where it has to be exact match. One extreme here where we just have to have that string somewhere inside of the value. And then we have something in between where using a tilde, we can say this word by itself has to be in there. It's not a substring of any word. It doesn't have to just exist in there. It has to be that specific word, but it doesn't have to be the only value. So we have a couple of examples here. Obviously, if we have test, that will match. If we have the word test somewhere inside of here, and you can see each word is separated by a space. So as long as the word test is in there, it will match. But it won't match if we have the word testing, because even though test is in there, the whole word is not test. The whole word is testing. Same thing here, even though test exists, the whole word is test dash. Okay. So this is a good way to look for certain values separated by spaces. Now we're not going to use these, but there are also the ability to look for attributes that start with a certain value or end with a certain value. And in case you're wondering, what is the specificity of an attribute selector? It's exactly the same as a class name. So in the scale of things, it's like using a class name. And when things get calculated, IDs will trump attribute selectors and attribute selectors will trump um, the more general tag selectors. If you want to keep learning about how to build real world apps with the latest technologies and other career related topics, then start right now by subscribing to our channel and liking this video.